Go. Or, oh, wait, what's, what's this thing? What's all this stuff? What am I showing you? Hi, I'm Audrey um, Bennett. I am 18 years old, and I'm just going to show you that I can replace a trough valve. So this is like a kind of old, nice trough, and um, it has this because uh, usually you would use a one of these uh, arm valves, but the problem with with these were always when when it was like low on water and the cows were trying to find some water, they would knock this and bend it and break it. So that's why it has one of these. But actually, I'm not going to use one of these. I'm going to use one of these Hanson tank valve, which is a string one. So that means that the cows can't break it, which is good. Um, so first I am going to remove the old valve that is already in here. And I'm going to use my pipe wrench here comes in handy. When I, oh. So whenever I'm undo, undoing something, I go anti-clockwise. So this is a bit awkward, but I'll manage. So um, these ones are cool because they have different size. So in, in some tanks, there's different size threads. So this one actually comes with two so that I can use one that I need. So I actually need the smaller one. Down. So I'm going to screw this into here. Like this. Okay. So I'll just check that this is the right size. So I'm going to check if it screws into here. Oh. Okay. Oh, just say it again. Oh. So that one fits in there nicely. And then I'm going to screw this bit. Onto that. Um, so you always need to be really careful that you don't cross thread the plastic with the um, brass in the trough, otherwise you'll wreck the whole um, thing, which will be a pain. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so you can do this all by hand, which is quite good. So I've got to end up with the bit under here facing down, which I have, so it is ready to put the next thing on. Um, so these can be, um, I looked at the instructions, which is always good. <laughs> um, so they can either be used in a tank. And so if they're in a tank, they're at the top of the tank. And so they sit down like this, using this little arm. And then when the water is full, it just like turns itself off because off, it pops up like that. But in a, in a trough like this, you have to attach it to the string because it's always sitting, but then once it's gone to as much, then the string will pull it because obviously sitting, obviously it's sitting down under the water, so the string will come up. And then um, so it's easier to do to tie it on when the water's in here, so you can measure. But uh, we haven't got the water in here, obviously, so we just tied it so that it doesn't over overflow and it's gonna stop when it reaches that, and that's good for us. Yay! <laughs>